welcome back. Um, today I have another uh, trivia game and I've pulled in my two daughters to be our audience or our, not our audience, you're our audience. They are going to be my participants. This is my daughter Ariel and this is my daughter Sydney. Um, hello, say hi. hi. So today's game is called Invention or Imagination. So I'm going to give them three things in a group and they're going to tell me which one they they are to choose the real invention which one has really been invented in the world okay we're going to do uh 12 questions and then i will give you the answer after each one and tell you who made it or quickly we'll go through not quickly but we'll figure it out so I hope you play along at home. So they are kind of crazy inventions, especially the ones you realize that did come to pass. So here we go as our first example. And it's Team Ariel and Team Sydney. And they're going to keep track of which ones they get right. And you keep track of the ones you got right at home. All right? So here we go. The first question is, invention number one. Which one of these is really an invention? Toy cars that put themselves away, anti-Lego slippers, or magnetic ping pong balls. Which one really got invention? I'd also like to add, I've brought my two daughters who are going to school, well one has graduated as a mechanical engineer, and she is in school for being an engineer. So I thought this would be appropriate for these two little inventors. So. Sydney, what got in, really got invented? Toy cars that put themselves away? Anti-Lego slippers or magnetic ping pong balls? Uh, the toy cars. The toy cars that put themselves away? Ariel? Uh, the toy cars. I think. She, you say the toy car, the little toy cars are gonna go put themselves away. Mm. Okay, no, that's, that's, they're both wrong. Um, it is the anti-Lego slippers. Is it just a regular slipper? No, the anti these clever, extra thick slippers were designed by Lego, so that they could sell them, of course, to combat the excruciating, painful problem of stepping on a Lego. And if anybody has ever had children or just been at someone's house and stepped on one of those things, ooh, those hurt, especially in the middle of the night when you're walking around your house. All right, next one, invention number two. Which one really happened? Phone application that detects body odor, a watch that smells fear, or ant-killing kitchen robot. So is it the phone application that smells body odor, a watch, a watch that smells fear, or the ant Killing kitchen robot. Ariel, you go first. Um, I would say the watch that smells fear. A watch that smells fear. Mm -hmm. Sydney? I'm going to say the ant killing robot. The ant killing robot. Okay, well, we still have a score of zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> because it is really the app has been developed that detects body odor. The skincare company Nevia partnered with app developers to create Nose, an electronic nose that can let you know if your shower is overdue. Wow. All right, let's go to number three. So this invention, do we have a refrigerator that cooks, toaster that stencils pictures on bread, or the last one, an automatic dishwasher loader. I wish. <laughs> I wish to on that last one. I yeah. certainly wish. Okay, maybe they invented it. Which one do you think? Sydney? The toaster. The toaster that stencils pictures on the toast. Ariel? I, I agree with Sydney. She agrees with Sydney. The toaster that stencils pictures. And they are both correct. They each get one point. Woo! A to stencil toaster, this RDI appliance allows you to custom your slices of bread with images like a smiley face, a cup of coffee, or a birthday cake. So yeah, I guess when you pick your toaster setting, you also pick which picture you want to get. All right, number four invention. Let's see which one of these got invented. 
dog dating service, <laughs> dog perfume, or a computer program that translates dogs' barks into cat meows. Which one got invented? Doggy dating service, the doggy perfume, or translating a dog's bark into a cat's meow. Ariel. Um, I think the perfume. Ariel says doggy perfume. Sydney? Yeah, I'd say the same. The same doggy perfume? Yeah. Okay, well you both are correct. It is the dog perfume. I personally would have said the doggy dating app with people wanting to match their dogs to breed their dogs, but who knows. But it is the dog perfume. Oh my gosh, look, someone's going to go and invent the doggy app after this. Okay, dog perfume. You can, pup, your pup can get dolled up with, oh, and listen to the, what the perfume is called. It's called Sexy Beast Perfume. Just one of the many beauty products now sold for pets. Wow. All right, number five. Which one of these got invented? Grape-flavored pretzels, grape-flavored toothpaste, or grape-flavored crackers? Oh, I bet that would be good with the wine and cheese for people. Which one do you think, Sydney? Grape-flavored pretzels, toothpaste, or crackers? Mm, I guess crackers. Cindy's going with crackers. Ariel, which one are you going with? Uh, toothpaste. Ariel's going with toothpaste. And Ariel is correct. It is grape flavored toothpaste. Kids who like grape juice are in luck because Crest has made a grape flavored toothpaste. They also have put fluoride in it. All right. So it is now what? Uh, two to one. So we have five. We're on number six. Three, who has three? Three to two. Three to two. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you guys are keeping track. All right, invention number six. Which one got invented? A litter privacy, a litter box privacy screen, doggy toilet paper, or pet underpants? Which one got invented? <laughs> a... a like a litter box privacy screen when the kitty cat uses its litter box, so it goes behind a screen. Uh, what did I say? Doggy Under toilet paper or pet underpants? Sydney, which one do you think? Uh, the privacy screen. Sydney's saying the privacy screen. Ariel. Um, what was Privacy screen, toilet, doggy toilet paper, or a doggy or pet underpants? I'll go with the pet underpants. Pet underpants. Ariel is correct. It is the pet underpants have been invented. They are. They have been invented by Rear Gear. Produces these <laughs> cheerful stick-on butt covers. That's what it says. Uh -huh. That adhere to the pet's bum. And options include first place <laughs> ribbons. Flowers, dice, and cupcakes. So those would you just put those right on there? Your butts, your pets, bum. That's different. Okay, so we have uh, we're on number seven. Let's see, on number seven, which one got invented? A baby shusher, baby shusher, a baby tickler, or a baby patter? Which one got invented? The baby shusher, tickler, or patter? Um, which one got invented? Ariel. Um, probably the patter. Ariel saying the baby patter. Sydney? Yeah, I think the patter. The patter? Actually, you're both incorrect. It was the baby shusher. If your baby requires more shushing than you can muster, Simply turn on the battery powder powered baby shusher device that emits soothing rhythmic shushing sounds. I guess that got invented. All right, number eight. Which one got invented? Edible pens, edible tape, or edible glitter? Oh. 
Edible. Oh, you both know? Okay, what is it? <laughs> glitter. You said edible glitter? Yeah. Sydney? Yeah, edible glitter. Edible glitter. Is that because you've seen glitter on, like, bakery products and stuff? Yeah. But they are both right. It is edible glitter. These tiny glittery gold stars are perfect for topping special occasion cakes and cupcakes. They are also beautiful and 100% edible. So you both got one of those. All right. We have two more questions. We're on number nine. What's the score, Ariel? Oh, How many do you have? Five. Five, yeah. Three. Sydney has three and Ariel has five. All right. The next one we have invention number nine. Candle that smells like a computer. How would that smell? Candle that smells like a comet. Or candle that smells like a handkerchief. Which one got invented? Does the candle smell like a computer, a comet, or a handkerchief? Sydney. Uh, I would say maybe a comet. A comet? Sydney's going with comet. Ariel? Um, I'll just say handkerchief. Ariel's going with handkerchief. Well, the candle that got invented is the candle that smells like a computer, which I would have no idea how that would smell, but fill your home with that new computer smell with this candle that has an aroma mimicking that of a new Mac laptop. I didn't know new Mac laptops had a specific smell. There's that new car smell that everyone was yeah. trying to get. So maybe if you're a computer person and you work in an office, you know when someone has a new computer, you're like, I know a new computer has arrived. So there's a candle that can mimic that for you. All right, and our last one, number 10, we have which one of these got invented, okay? Hot dog flavored popsicles, mm. rainbow bagels, or Oreo potato chips. Which one got invented? A hot dog flavored pretzels? Oh no, hot dog flavored popsicle Rainbow bagel or Oreo potato chip? Ariel. I'll say rainbow bagels. Ariel's going with a rainbow bagel. Yeah. Sydney? I would say the same. The same thing. Yay! They both got it right. Rainbow bagels. So, Spielman Bagels and Coffee in Portland, Oregon makes rainbow hued bagels each June to celebrate diversity in honor of Pride Month. So, that's where we get that. So, this was our game today. It's called Invention or Imagination. I hope you enjoyed playing it. So, who was the winner? How many did you get, Sydney? Four. Four. Ariel? Six. And Ariel got six. And both of them are engineers, so hopefully we'll see some of their inventions in the future. And look at all these other ideas that somebody's probably out there working on them right now. So, we definitely now know what has been invented. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you did really well at home also. So for me and my daughters, uh, thank you for joining us. And I hope you learned about a new invention out there. And you know what? If you're thinking of something or want to invent something or you're like, I could really use this, that's the time to write it down and start talking about it and try to see if you can get it invented or at least get something going on that idea. All right? So all of you take care. Um, be safe and be happy, and we'll see you at the next activity.